So I'm gonna wait really quick until I get enough Ingvar to start making a magmatic dynamo, which I'm then going to use in place of coal for now. All right, so now we should have enough to make some Ingvar blend. So I can't remember if it's two to one or one to two. There we go. All right, so there's some Ingvar blend. So I can put this back in here and we're just gonna do that really quick. So I can throw some of this back in there. Quartz I don't think will go in there. So at some point, uh, that's going to bounce back. So right now I'm running into an issue. I've got iron nuggets in here. So none of this is going to go anywhere until I can get these iron nuggets out. My problem with that is that this range is too far away. So I'm trying to wait for this gravel to go ahead and fill up. I just emptied this one out. These starbuncles are just like dancing on my stairs. I don't get it. <laughs> um... All right, did I empty everything out of here? No, I have not. So let me take all of this. And can I potentially put like that here? Actually, no, because I probably need it to have some kind of funnel. I have a wooden hopper. So let me do that. Let me do that. Let me put all of this in here and let me set you to also input from the side and auto input I don't know what so that's already got one raw osmium in it so that's the only thing about these hoppers that I don't really like is that you can't, you can see what's in it, but you really can't get it out or put anything else into it. But it works if you just need it to be like super quick. So this can't link to this, but can I kind of like bypass it through here? No, cause you don't have an import export. All right, so I am also getting some budding amethyst, fantastic. So you can't do anything until I get rid of those iron nuggets. So what if I did, uh, I can't do a buffer chest because I don't have any more import export upgrades because I'm using them all. I'm using way too many. I could probably be doing this so many different ways. Actually, no, you I'm done with. So I can take you, that gets me an import export. And then I'm just gonna put a buffer chest. You're empty. And it saves resources and helps me to eventually move some stuff around. So you can go here with this on top. Wait, oh, well, I don't even need a buffer chest then, I think, because I can just put you here, link the receiver to you, and now you should be getting iron nuggets, and then I can take you as a receiver and hand it to you, and are you going to take those iron nuggets? Probably once I get rid of the gravel. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Connection removed, so you're no longer sending gravel. So now, receiver, sender. Okay. I just want to unlink you really quick until I can clear out this back stuff. So now you're sending your diamonds. All right, so that's also the problem, is that you're going to get stuff that you don't need. So I need a... Filter? Do I have more filters? Don't think I do. But filters are cheap. Filters are just sticks and a filter tool, right? So if 
I take this and I go to filter tool. And then I get sticks. Filter tool, filter base. And you just need like a piece of wool, I think. Do I have any extra wool that's not energized? I do not, but I can grab my force shears. And do I have any normal sheep? And then item filter you to only be able to accept like lapis diamond. So like coal, lapis, and diamond, and I think emerald are the only things that can come out of gravel. So filter you, filter inserted. Let me take out all of this iron and let me take out all of this. So now you should be allowed to get those items. Everything else is gonna be sent over here. And we're not doing anything yet because we are currently out of redstone power. So I made my Ingvar blend, correct? Did I get Ingvar ingots? That's my Ingvar blend. So let me take this and just smelt it in a furnace furnace. With what fuel? Your guess is as good as mine. The last three pieces of coal that I have. So, Ingvar smelting. What else do I need for this? I need a lot of Ingvar, some iron, so I need one of these. I need two pieces of iron and probably a nugget. So what's in you right now? Raw iron that can't be sent over here. So how about instead of sending you directly into the furnace now, we send you into this barrel. So that way there's at least a bit of a buffer. So you are my... And now just relink receiver sender. So now you should just get everything back into this barrel. Perfect. So then once I can get some of this going, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna take this out. You can now only outport, export to the top. You are gonna go in now. Maybe I'd still need to. So import and export from the top. Cool. So you're getting all of that stuff. Raw tin is being sent. Okay, cool. I think we are, we're in a better spot now. All right, so picking up from where we left off, it actually has been a few days uh, since I've been able to log on and play. Uh, so this is following up to that last little bit, which was uh, just kind of a mix of different things that we had going on. So I've started trying to get some lava gin going. I've got a bit more coal going on every so often. Uh, this magma crucible will kick on if it gets some lava coming from our uh, magma dynamo. 
uh, will kick off anytime it gets a little bit of lava from here, from this dripstone, but we need a faster lava production. So I've made this magma crucible. I'm gonna try and see if like maybe there's a slightly different way we can handle this. I looked it up a little bit uh, and there's not much by way. So the melting chamber uh, takes obsidian and stone uh, and it'll make lava. Uh, there's a few other ways to get it as well. Uh, but the magma crucible is one of the quicker ways that I've seen so far because there's only like one melting chamber recipe and I, I'm not to the point of a lot of obsidian but I am to the point of pretty much infinite cobblestone and or netherrack so cobblestone takes 200,000 RF whereas netherrack only takes 60 so I think my plan is going to be to take this piece of netherrack I'm just gonna plop it down back here somewhere uh, probably off to the side just because I know that I'm gonna need to access this to get the lava out uh, but I'm gonna put uh, like a piece of nether rack or nether brick I'm sorry right here I'm gonna take a pedestal did I grab one I don't know if I have any extra at the moment uh, this guy maybe what are you doing you were pulling from the sand right here that was going in that. So I kind of don't need you anymore, but let me see if I have an extra. I don't think I have an extra pillar laying around or pedestal laying around anywhere. So I am going to take you and we are gonna put you on top of this nether brick. And then we are going to give you a um, uh, materials upgrade I'm going to put you on that that has a filter on it I can't remember what I filtered here because like I said it's been it's been a few days uh, filter tool offhand you are just filtered to cobblestone we're actually not going to do that anymore I'm going to clear that filter because you don't actually need to be filtered because all I'm going to do is link you right here so uh, oh uh, so sender receiver and you're just gonna funnel into this potentially I think you do you need an export upgrade or do you just need to auto input okay you just need to auto input so you are gonna start making cobblestone I did put a, a hardened uh, component augment in here so hopefully that speeds it up a little bit and then I'm gonna grab my fluid pipes which I might need to make more of I didn't check that before we started this because I think I used all of them but like one so I do need to make a few more fluid pipes let me find out how these are made uh, it's just iron two buckets so six iron seven eight nine ten eleven twelve iron and a piece of redstone that's doable at this point uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because you see, I've got a ton of materials right now. I just don't have any way of actually smelting new materials. So you need to go. Give me one. Give me a singular thing. Uh, so buckets, and then here, your chests have multiplied. Great. That means there's a mimic somewhere. I don't want to deal with a mimic the moment I sign in but we'll just we'll deal with you really quick they're pretty easy to fight at this point i don't have any armor on but i can just pretty much i mean i wasn't expecting to do that but i can just trap him right there it seems cool mimic down what did i pick up a hat very nice hat it matches uh this guy that's been following me around a little bit where did he go this guy we, we, we now have very similar hats. Congratulations. Uh, so I'm going to take this lava and I'm going to output it to the back right here. I don't know if this is fuel efficient at all, but we'll, we'll see if it's energy efficient once I start um, actually like producing lava, which I do have a little bit of, but see you're already choking on power. 
So I need to output you to the back. That's the back, no, that's the bottom. I think you're the back. So I need to output to the back and then I'm just gonna run this all the way down here into my magma, my magmatic dynamo and we'll see if that does anything better. Like having a consistent amount of lava in here. Are you outputting? You are not. Do I need to do you and do you? Now are you inputting? Potentially you have 2000 and you have nothing. So yes, but it's still choking, sort of. We are not having a net gain at the moment. So you currently have an upgrade. You are currently still outputting some power. That this, this isn't gonna go well, folks. Uh, I need better power gen. I have a solar panel somewhere, don't I? How does that work? Because you're just gonna keep feeding lava in here, but if you're not actually working, there's no point. In you sitting here are you gaining at all you are not you also can't hold enough to even do this so I need to put one of you back in there and then hmm, what's an option an option is finding a better option but it's that's currently not an option um, it, it probably is I'm probably just thinking way too hard about this uh, mainly because I'm not familiar with packs like this. Um, can I get buckets of lava in any way? Uh, energy needed zero, so I need a pillar on top of lava? Or a pedestal on top of lava with a fluid upgrade? Is that all I need? But does that use up the lava source? That's a big question. Um, so let me try at pedestal uh this bottler upgrade is that what i need so that takes a bottle of enchanting and an upgrade so how do i get a bottle of enchanting uh i just need to put a bottle item inputs go into the inventory below the pedestal so i need to put like a bottle in a chest on top, I need to put a pillar. Pedestal needs inventory below it for input items. Then where does this come from? That's the question. So I might play with that later, but we just need like a quick jump start for this stuff. Uh, you are currently full. You are currently full. So I just need something that's gonna keep this at a net gain. It seems like every so often it gains power. It gains like enough to fuel itself. So. I just need better, better magma gen, better lava. All right. Um, I'm going to cut you off, cut you off. I can't really cut your output because if I do, you're just going to not do anything. But I could probably turn one of these off for a minute and see what happens. So that'll shut you off, which should be giving you more power now. And you just have a steady, steady enough that you're not going anywhere, but you are working. So that's good. Uh, let me check my thermal expansion. Um, so expanded RF, knowledge, expanded tank. I think this is what I made the last time. So it needs silver, four, so three gold 
three gold, two silver, and a redstone. So three gold, two redstone, two silver. So let me try doing something like this. I'm throwing you in here. So that gives it more RF storage, which is good. But the augment... Okay, so that'll keep power coming in. So can I turn you back on and you still have power in you? Are you gaining enough power now? Yeah, yes, potentially. So that's at a gain. That's steady. That's steady. And that's relatively steady. No, now we're at a loss. Why, why are we at a loss now? Because you have no lava in you. But I need you in output mode. Okay, now you have lava in you. So I think having, I think I had it in input mode, so it was probably sucking lava out. All right, so now let's look up here. All right, you are still definitely at a net loss or a net gain. I can't tell. It, it seems like it's in a weird flux state. So you're good, you're good. This seems like it's back and forth, so that might be, but now are you? No, you're just off and on because you're, you've got nothing in you. So let me put that there. So if I put this back, you're burning too fast. So if I take you out, eventually there might be a gain. seems like every so often there's like a quick net gain of power so that's good you're still working fine getting stuff where I need it I do have amethyst in now so that's really good that'll that'll definitely get productions of stuff quicker so let me go ahead really quickly and I'm gonna cut some of this down I don't lose any just like that well win some lose some so let me let me expand this platform just a little bit cool I could probably put that in a new place and I know there are automated ways to do that are you farming right now thanks could you replant for me all right so amethyst and I know I have some in another chest um, potentially yes so that's 14 so amethyst mesh I think should just take one uh, amethyst mesh takes four and it takes the mana steel mesh okay so I have to steal the mana steel meshes from this steal all of you that's fine and then I need to come over here I do do I need sticks I need sticks but do I need them in my inventory currently I don't believe so all right so let me see how many of these I can make I can make two that's good so put you here put you here Let's see the quest reward uh, gets me another budding amethyst so that's good and my progression gets me another budding amethyst and an add-on for a speed upgrade and a compacting drawer sweet so i will clean out my inventory and i will get that stuff going uh is there anything that i can put in here really quickly no not really actually so let me clear that part of my inventory uh these drawers can go away i've been carrying these drawers around for quite a while uh, those can go away, those can go away. Uh, I need this on. Um, 
Gold dust needs to go in the thing, but food can go in here. Uh, I can pretty much just get like smart sorted. I can probably just smart sort everything. Let me put my millstone away. So this fluid cell came from the, um, the powering up progression here. I had a choice between a few different things, so I took the 16 buckets of lava because I was going down the uh, lava gen power path. Uh, so that should be enough. Let me throw these away. Let me like invert this and re-invert it so I can put that in. Oh, oh, you're, not ju you're just not gonna stack at all then, okay. Current mode item, I don't know why. Sometimes it stacks, sometimes it doesn't, who knows. Uh, I can get rid of these sticks. I hate Forcecraft giving you sticks. All right, need to eat as well. All right. So we are close to a wrapping up point. This was meant to just kind of be a tag on to the last episode, but it kind of became a bit more. So we are slowly net gaining on power, so that's good. Uh, in the next episode, there's a few things I want to cover. So let me go ahead and turn in these rewards. Fantastic. Let me turn in this guy. And I think that's everything I need to turn in. Uh, can I wait for those to go away? And yeah, so all rewards collected. So I have two more budding amethyst, which is good. Uh, so in the next episode... Uh, one thing I really want to get into is pillars are cool for a while. Uh, they're cool for stuff like this, where I can just generate infinite resources. So I'm only going to start using uh, pillars for, or pedestals for uh, production, for like uh, resource gathering. Uh, but we are going to start looking into uh, digital storage and uh, laser I.O. So I want to get into that. There's a few more things that I need. And one big thing that I really want to get into um, is once I start getting more um, production of stuff and still start doing everything that I'm doing here, uh, is I need to get into more uh, doubling and or tripling of ores. So if I can do that, uh, that would be great. So the way to do that is I need to get into either catalysts, like infinite catalysts for this, um, or I need to do a um, a uh, millstone or a um, the crusher from create. So for that, I do need brass, which is why I needed to get up to the amethyst meshes. So now that I've got that, I think I can start getting enough resources to get, um, to get, so once I get that, I can get enough, uh, resources to get brass, which will then get me d deeper into create, which will get me, um, the crushing wheels, which will get me progressive. So yeah, so it, it's, it's one step after the other, but we are close to getting to those points. So uh, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. There is gonna be a small tag at the end of this episode for something that kind of happened between episodes. But other than that, I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all of this uh, andesite, and, uh, not andesite, this amethyst stuff set up and we will uh, proceed into the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. I just want to add this on as like a tag at either the beginning or the end of an episode. But homeboy right here just showed up. I mean, we might as well just go ahead and do that, right? I don't know how else I'm going to get some elytra. Uh, we'll figure out where this is going to go in an episode.